what you saw out there today? Well, I think all in all it was, you know, like a lot of first scrimmages, the, uh, there was ebb and flow. The first team offense did a pretty good job, I thought, for the most part. And the second team defense was good. So, you know, it was kind of ebb and flow, so. How many uh, plays were you able to run out there? Uh, probably a hundred, maybe, I don't know. I, uh, I think the first team had about 50, and then the others were, may, may not even got to 100, really. Uh, did you get to see any, any guys maybe move a little away? Yeah, Diedrich Mills, I thought, had a really good day. Uh, you know, I, I'm still, you know, we still got a lot of work to do, but I'm hopeful that Jalen Camp's going to be a guy that can help us. Uh, so, uh, and then we've got a lot of young guys, got a lot of reps. So, Camp may be one of the freshmen that may get into the 2 well, He's got a chance, I think. I don't know about, yeah, I don't know about all that, but at play, I mean, if we play with five or six of those guys. Right. Man. Uh, what's, what's the schedule for next week? You start planning for Boston College? Uh, no. No, we'll stay in camp for, you know, next week. And uh, then towards the latter part of the week, we'll, you know, you, it's football's football. And so it's, yeah. you, you know, you're working on it every day. But we'll get into a specific game plan maybe the last half of next week or something. Uh, the A-back group, you had mentioned there was no real. Glenn Lynch did a couple nice things today. I think he scored a touchdown and had a couple big plays. Uh, he continues to have a good camp. Uh, you know, Austin McClellan made a nice catch. Uh, just some different guys. I mean, I, you know, all in all, without watching the tape, it's hard to tell who did a good job blocking and that kind of thing. You have a young secondary. How did they stand up against the offense? Well, you know, they, we wasn't throwing it a lot, but uh, they made some plays and they gave up some stuff too. So, you know, it was the first scrimmage. I don't imagine <clears> you didn't work on any of the return game today? No, not today. We'll spend a big part of that tomorrow afternoon. Quarterbacks, you had Jordan and, and uh, well, Justin. Justin came out and played, I think, three or four series, and I thought he was really sharp early. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, we played Taquan and Matthew Jordan were the first group mostly, and then the freshman and some other guys were the second group. Are those two uh, two guys that are really two A and two B that you can use in different situations? Possibly, we're still trying to sort that out. Okay. Uh, be back naturally you've mentioned yeah Marcus Marshall didn't play Marshall this morning play, so yeah. I thought Diedrich Mills and Cervante Benson probably stood out more than the, the other part of the group yeah Benson learning his way around yeah the I think he's got a chance yeah how about uh, Mills and his blocking uh Mills is a good player I think mean, he's going to play a lot yeah hard runner yeah he's hard to tackle he's a good player and he understands football uh, <coughs> Ricky June and, and uh, Stewart were the two receivers mm -hmm. last year. Have you seen seen any? Uh, well, they just need to be more consistent. Yeah, I mean, I think that that having played more, they've improved, but they need to be more consistent. You know, we they they got to make plays when they come to them because it doesn't come to them a lot. But so you can't you know can't miss chances. Yeah, you have to take advantage of your chances. Yeah, you have to take right? advantage of it when it comes your way. Uh, one of the guys on the offensive line felt that they were getting off the ball a little quicker. Did you see that today? Nah, I thought the first group was probably pretty good, just judging by how it went. The second group, not so much. So, you know, that's usually the way it is. That's to be expected. Yeah. <clears throat> how, uh, how much difference has that made having Freddie back? Uh, I think it makes a difference. It's yeah. a huge difference. Yeah. Would, He's a big way. drop off there yeah. from one to two. Yeah. Is it just his? Players, is it, there's a, kind of an effect yeah, he's, on. He's a three year starter. And right. he, he's played and he's a good athlete and a big guy. Yeah, right. so it helps to be good in the middle. Uh, I was pleased with Shamir. He fought through. And, you know, he fought through. I think those those linemen, you know, you got to play yourself into football shape. You can't, and, and that's why you, these are so important. And we had a, you know, I think the first team offense had a 20 play drive which is great. You couldn't script anything <laughs> better. You, you know, you put it on the 25 and they 20 plays down the field. It's great. Had to convert a couple of fourth and shorts and and that's then those linemen are you know, now you're playing yourself into football shape. Of course, that's what you were you were missing last year for the most part, those long drives. Yeah, so at, at to to a degree we hadn't had them like we had in the past, yeah. Yeah. DJ went with the ones? Yeah, he played with the ones. How did he, do, uh, he did really well. He had a good day. Like long runs or just kind of? Some of all of it. Yeah. yeah. I'm curious, do you 
feel better about that group than maybe you did? The B-backs? No, no, no. I'm sorry about the line. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I think they have a chance to be better than we were a year ago. Yeah. And do you know anything different about this team or new, worse, better than you did at the start of camp? No, not really. I mean, they continue to work hard. and you know, if they'll continue to keep doing that and try to improve, we'll be okay. How did the, uh, you said you didn't pass that much, but when you did, how was the pass rush from the defense? It's okay. It's hard to pass rush against us when you're playing, you're geared to play option. I mean, I don't, I can't remember without looking at the tape. I think the second team gave up a sack or two. I don't think the first team had a sack. Any big plays defensively? That yeah, they had, a, you know, fumble recovery, interception. Some stuff like you always have in a scrimmage, yeah. Who made the interception? I think it was uh, a uh, freshman from the Keecher. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Kerr. Kerr. Um, this is kind of my question, but like obviously, you know, playing in, in Ireland, you'll be going early, early in the morning. And mm -hmm. obviously, you always do this this time, but mm -hmm. it kind of has maybe an added benefit. I hope so. I mean, we, we're used to playing in the mornings, we do it a lot. Injury-wise, came out. I think so. We got some guys that got nicked and bruised, but I don't think anything was serious. I don't, you know, we may have some that were two or three days or something, but I don't think it's anything that, you know, we'll. I'm sure they'll X-ray a couple of guys and look and see, but we're hopeful that it wasn't anything serious. We don't think it was. Paul, going back to Freddie, <clears throat> obviously you said having a big, good guy with three years' experience and the mental helps and so forth. How does he help the people on either side of him? Well, he, he knows what to do, so he's very helpful with them, and, and he can he can help out with calls, and he can help out. You know, Will Bryan's playing left guard, and Will got, got moved there. He played left tackle last year. So, so even though he's played a lot, it's relatively new for him. Uh, you know, Shamir's a little different, but like when Parker Braun's in there, one of those guys, Freddie can help him with calls and help him to identify stuff. and. And he's just a bigger, stronger presence trying to get to the second level. He's harder to keep from getting off the line to the second level and all those kind of things. You know, he's just the older and a, and a good athlete, bigger guy. Jalen can't be mentioned a couple of days ago. Yeah, I think he's got a chance. Which of the, of the three, which he's, he's well, playing. Steve didn't play this morning. He's nursing a – just a nagging little something. It's not, not much. And, and Jair had a nice catch. Uh, so, yeah, you know, I, when until you watch the film and see what they did blocking and all that, it's hard to say. But, uh, yeah, I think they both got a chance to play. Have you been disappointed a little bit with the development of Harlan and Christian in terms of – you wish they No, nah, they just play? haven't played much. I, you know, we'll watch today and see what happens. You know, uh, sometimes it's hard to evaluate those guys without – Watching the tape, I mean, because I'm not watching them. I'm back there trying to call plays behind the huddle and really watching the line, the quarterback, more than anybody else in the be back. Well, Christian has probably had about as many practices as this freshman at this point. Yeah, you know, he's been hurt a lot. He's a big body that's strong. I'm, we're not ready to give up on him by any means. And then Cottrell, did he do anything to stand out? That he didn't play today. He's been out. Anything else for Coach? How's Diedrich looking? Dieter Mills, he had a really good scrimmage. He's going to be a good player. He'll be off tomorrow? No. We'll practice tomorrow afternoon. Mostly special teams.